I, the Father Father of heaven, and him, by whom it, and us for it, and all else for us, thou maddest, and governst ever, come and recreate me. Now grown ruinous, my heart is by dejection, clay, and by self-murder, red. From this red earth, O Father, purge away all vicious tinctures, that new-fashioned I may rise up from death, before I am dead. 2. The Son, O Son of God, who, seeing two things, sin and death, crept in, which were never made, by bearing one, triadst with what stings the other could thine heritage invade, O be thou nailed unto my heart, and crucified again, part not from it, though it from thee would part, but let it be by applying so thy pain, drowned in thy blood, and in thy passion slain. 3. The Holy Ghost, O Holy Ghost, whose temple I am, but of mud walls, and condens de dust, and being sacrilegiously half-wasted with youth's fires of pride and lust, must with new storms be weather beat, double in my heart thy flame, which let devout sad tears intend, and let though this glass lanthorn, flesh, do suffer maim fire, sacrifice, priest, all to be the same. 4. The Trinity O blessed glorious Trinity, bones to philosophy, but milk to faith, which, as wise serpents, diversely most slipperiness, yet most entanglings hath, as you distinguish d, undistinct, by power, love, knowledge be, give me a such self-different instinct, of these let all me elemented be, of power, to love, to know you unnumbered three, v, the Virgin Mary for that fair blessed mother made, whose flesh redeemed us, that she cherubin, which unlocked deep paradise, and made one claim for innocence, and a seized e sin, whose womb was a strange heaven, for there God clothed himself, and grew, our zealous thanks we pour, as her deeds were our helps, so are her prayers, nor can she sue in vain, who hath such titles unto you, vi, the angels, and since this life our knowledge is, and we in wardship to thine angels be, native in heaven's fair palaces where we shall be but denizened by thee, as th earth conceiving by the sun, yields fair diversity, yet never knows what course that light doth run, so let me study that mine actions be worthy their sight, though blind in how they see. 7. The patriarchs, and let thy patriarchs desire, those great grandfathers of thy church, which saw more in the cloud than we in fire, whom nature cleared more, than us grace and law, and now in heaven still pray, that we may use our new helps right be satisfied, and fructify in me, let not my mind be blinded by more light, nor faith by reason added lose her sight. 8. The prophets, thy eagle-sighted prophets too, which were thy church's organs, and did sound that harmony which made of two one law, and did unite, but not confound, those heavenly poets which did see thy will, and it express in rhythmic feet in common pray for me, that I by them excuse not my excess in seeking secrets, or poeticness. 9. The apostles and thy illustrious zodiac of twelve apostles, which engirt this all, from whom whosoever do not take their light, to dark deep pits throw down and fall, as through their prayers thou'st let me know that their books are divine. May they pray still, and be heard, that I go th old broad way in applying, O oh, decline me, when my comment would make thy word mine. X. The martyrs and since thou so desirously didst long to die, that long before thou couldst, and long since thou no more couldst die, thou in thy scattered mystic body wouldst enable die, and ever since in thine, let their blood come to beg for us a discreet patience of death, or of worse life, for O, oh, to some not to be martyrs, is a martyrdom. 11. The confessors therefore with thee triumpheth their a virgin squadron of white confessors, whose bloods betrothed not married were, tendered, not taken by those ravishers, they know, and pray that we may know, in every Christian hourly tempestuous persecutions grow, temptations martyr us alive, a man is to himself a Diocletian. 12. The virgins the cold white snowy nunnery, which, as thy mother, their high abbess, sent their bodies back again to thee, as thou hast lent them, clean and innocent, though they have not obtained of thee, that all thy church or I should keep, as they, our first integrity, divorce thou sin in us, or bid it die, and call chaste widowhead virginity. 13. The doctors the sacred academy above of doctors, whose pains have unclasped thee, and taught both books of life to us for love to know thy scriptures tells us, we are wrote in thy other book pray for us there, that what they have misdone or missaid, we to that may not adhere. Their zeal may be our sin. Lord, let us run mean ways, and call them stars, but not the sun.
14. And whilst this universal choir, the church in triumph, this in warfare here, warmed with one all partaking fire of love, that none be lost, which cost thee dear, praise ceaselessly, and thou hearken to since to be gracious our task is treble, to pray, bear, and do hear this prayer, Lord, O Lord, deliver us from trusting in those prayers, though poured out thus. 15. From being anxious, or secure, dead clods of sadness, or light squibs of mirth, from thinking that great courts are mere all, or no happiness, or that this earth is only for our prison framed, or that thou right covetous to them whom thou lovest, or that they are maimed from reaching this world's sweet who seek thee thus, with all their might, good Lord, deliver us. 16. From needing danger, to be good, from owing thee yesterday's tears today from trusting so much to thy blood that in that hope we wound our soul away, from bribing thee with arms, to excuse some sin more burdenous, from light affecting, in religion, news, from thinking us all soul, neglecting thus our mutual duties, Lord, deliver us. 17 From tempting Satan to tempt us, by our connivance, or slack company, from measuring ill by vicious neglecting to choke sin's spawn, vanity, from indiscreet humility, which might be scandalous and cast reproach on Christianity, from being spies, or to spies pervious, from thirst or scorn of fame, deliver us. 18. Deliver us through thy descent into the virgin, whose womb was a place of middle kind, and thou being sent to ungracious us, statest at her full of grace, and through thy poor birth, where first thy glorifiedst poverty, and yet soon after riches didst allow, by accepting king's gifts in th epiphany, deliver us and make us to both ways free. 19 And through that bitter agony, which is still th agony of pious wits, disputing what distorted thee, and interrupted evenness with fits, and through thy free confession, though thereby they were then made blind, so that thou mightst from them have gone, good Lord, deliver us, and teach us when we may not, and we may, blind unjust men. 20 Through thy submitting all, to blows thy face, thy robes to spoil thy fame to scorn, always, which rage, or justice knows, and by which thou couldst show that thou wast born, and through thy gallant humbleness which thou in death didst show, dying before thy soul they could express, deliver us from death, by dying so to this world, ere this world do bid us go. 21 When senses, which thy soldiers are, we arm against thee, and they fight for sin, when want, sent but to tame, doth war, and work despair a breach to enter in, when plenty, God's image, and seal, makes us idolatrous, and love it, not him, whom it should reveal, when we are moved to seem religious only to vent wit, Lord, deliver us. 22 In churches, when th infirmity of him which speaks, diminishes the word, when magistrates do misapply to us, as we judge, lay your ghostly sword, when plague, which is thine angel, reigns, or wars, thy champions, sway, when heresy, thy second deluge, gains, in th hour of death, th eve of last judgment day, deliver us from the sinister way. 23 Hear us, O hear us, Lord, to thee a sinner is more music, when he prays, than spheres or angels praises be, in panegyric hallelujahs, hear us, for till thou hear us, Lord, we know not what to say, thine ear to us eyes, tears, thoughts, gives voice and word, O thou, who Satan hurtst in Job's sick day, hear thyself now, for thou in us dost pray, 24 that we may change to evenness this intermitting aguish piety, that snatching cramps of wickedness and apoplexies of fast sin may die, that music of thy promises, not threats in thunder may awaken us to our just offices, what in thy book thou dost, or creatures say, that we may hear, Lord, hear us when we pray. 25 that our ears sickness we make cure, and rectify those labyrinths aright, that we by hearkening not procure our praise, nor others dispraise so invite, that we get not a slickriness and senselessly decline, from hearing bold words jest at king's excess, to admit the like of majesty divine, that we may lock our ears, Lord, open thine. 26 That living law, the magistrate, which to give us, and make us physic, doth the vices often aggravate, that preachers taxing sin, before her growth, that Satan, and envenomed men which will, if we starve, dine when they do most accuse us, may see then us to amendment hear them, thee decline, that we may open our ears, Lord, lock thine. 27 That learning, thine ambassador, from thine allegiance we never tempt, that beauty, paradise's flower for physic made, from poison be exempt, 
that wit born apt high good to do by dwelling lazily on nature's nothing be not nothing too, that our affections kill us not, nor die, hear us, weak echoes, O, oh, thou ear and I, twenty-eight son of God, hear us, and since thou by taking our blood, owest it us again, gain to thyself, or us allow, and let not both us and thyself be slain, O Lamb of God, which tookst our sin, which could not stick to thee, O let it not return to us again, but patient and physician being free, as sin is nothing, let it nowhere be.